when I want to update my survey, I'll simply click Save, and you can see real time that's going to update our survey form. Now I'd like to point out some of the changes we made in our survey form. So here we can see the asset ID with this asterisk is now uh, a required field. And when it's read only, you can see I can no longer input a value into my asset ID. Again, read only, uh, the end user is not going to be able to edit their value. Since I made today's inspection date default to today's date, we can see that automatically populates when the survey uh, form is, is entered and opened up. We can see it's automatically going to default to today's date. We have our inspected by field where I could say, um, I am the user performing this example culvert inspection. And I changed the appearance of some of our fields here. So our structural condition field, where as it looked like the default select one field type appearance before, like our scour condition, you remember it's just kind of a, a, a vertical, here's my options that I've defined in my select one list. They're just going to appear as values here. But what I've done is I've changed the appearance of it so now it's a horizontal field where I can see those same values, but they're minimal, they're condensed. So they're not taking as much space in my uh, survey form. So now I can see, I can select the same drop downs, the same list options, but again, it's taking up less space in my survey form. I also changed the appearance uh, just to show some variety and some different options we have available to us in the opening conditions. Whereas before, again, they were vertical by default. Here I've changed them so that they're horizontal. So again, same options, same choice list selections, but they just appear in the survey differently according to how we set the appearance. And so we can see this also is another way of kind of uh, organizing and formatting our survey so that it, it could be most beneficial to the end user. You can see our, our hint applies to our comments uh, field that I said, enter any relevant comments below where our our users will be able to enter any comments that they would so choose. And we can also, since we have an image item, we can also attach photos or we can upload photos too from the device that we're submitting our survey from. So once we're, we're satisfied with our survey, where we like it, it's all good to go, what we'll do is we'll click on publish. And from here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna scan your survey, make sure everything is in uh, good order, there's no sort of uh, warnings or anything. And if there is something that catches where the survey form isn't quite right, it's gonna help you and it's gonna give you some, uh, some error messages and show you what's wrong. Once we're ready to publish our survey, we'll go ahead and we'll publish. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna publish this survey form to our ArcGIS Online organization, specifically to the user that we're signed in to the Survey123 Connect app with. We can see we've successfully published our survey. And from there, we can get it out to our end users, whether that's the general public or whether internal staff will now be able to use the survey we've uh, constructed to collect that meaningful data to us.